Hello everyone, welcome to News in 5 on Vantage TV, where we bring you stories from around the world that meet major headlines during the week in 5 minutes. My name is Anita Mankoli, so let's get right into it. National scene. President Mohamedou Buhari on Tuesday launched a 62.1 billion naira fund to improve efforts towards sustaining the country's HIV response. He said that he is hopeful that the private sector-led initiative will be able to provide adequate treatment for HIV-positive mothers as well as close the funding gap in managing the virus in the country. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibanjo has called for a complete reorientation on the exercise of regulatory bodies in Nigeria. He lamented that investors cannot export when they want to export, especially agricultural produce as a result of the many regulatory requirements. Through his spokesperson, he concluded that the Pebec Council will kick off a national action plan 7.0 to remedy the situation. The Senate has passed for second reading a bill seeking to stop landlords in the Federal Capital Territory from demanding one-year advance payment from their tenants. Sponsored by Senator Smart Adeyemi, he said that the bill is aimed at making life meaningful for workers who are finding it so difficult to pay their house rents. Longtime head of CNN Jeff Zucker has recently announced his resignation after nine years at the media giant, citing his failure to disclose a relationship with a colleague. Now, the questioning came as a result of investigations carried out on a former colleague of his, Chris Cuomo, who was earlier laid off from the company for helping his brother and ex governor of New York fight off sexual allegations. In a 71 page document, the World Health Organization has stated that in a bid to fight against COVID 19 pandemic, there's been an accumulation of byproducts, which includes used test syringes, old vaccine bottles, and test kits. But this therefore reveals the need for immediate improvement in waste management systems across the world. Hello, I'm Laifa, and you're welcome to Entertainment in 5 on Vantage TV, where you get the juiciest stories that made the world this week. Let's get right into it. Brand ambassador Tony Abraham entangled in real estate scam. There has been some speculations about the real estate brand Revolution Plus and not delivering on their promises. Brand ambassador Tony Abraham succumbed to the fans and apologized for property scams that they may have encountered and assured them that the management is working tirelessly to resolve the issues and make them happy. Collaboration sparked between Arya Star and Kelly Rowland. Arya Star, a Nigerian's fast rising singer and Kelly Rowland, an American artist, have teased fans, like myself, about collaborations for the moving singer's smart song, Bloody Samaritan. Kelly seems indicated interest in to repost, which was also reposted by Arya Star. I guess we're expecting something important. Did Drake really unfollow Rihanna due to pregnancy announcements? The Badadian singer Rihanna is soon to be a mom. She made these announcements in loved up photos with her half throb ASAP Rocky. However, Canadian rapper Drake, who once dated the Badalian singer, is rumored to have unfollowed her. What's really going on? And here's the funniest thing we saw this week. That's all for Entertainment in 5, guys. But don't move a muscle because sports comes right up. Welcome to Sports on the News in 5. I am Emilio Menez Substance with the top stories, starting off with football. Barcelona on Wednesday confirmed the signing of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang on the free transfer. The 32-year-old Gabon striker who scored 92 goals in 163 games since joining Arsenal had not played for the Gunners since a disciplinary breach in December, but flew to Spain on Monday to complete a deal with Barca. Transfer Day also saw the return to football of Christian Eriksen. The Denmark and former Tottenham midfielder signed for Brentford on a six-month deal. In other Transfer Deadline Day deals, Everton signed Delia Lee from Tottenham on a two-and-a-half-year deal. Scottish side Rangers signed former Arsenal and Juventus midfielder Aaron Ramsey on loan till the end of the season. And now, AFCON 2021. Senegal made it through to the AFCON final as they beat Burkina Faso by three goals to one. And finally, no war in AFCON as Egypt progressed to the final after beating Cameroon 3-1 on penalties. And now tennis. 35-year-old Rafael Nadal secured a record 21 Grand Slam men's title at the Australian Open final. The Spaniard had to rally back from two sets down to beat Russia's Daniel Medvedev. And that's sports on the News in 5. I am Emilio Menes Substance. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel Vantage TV for more news, sports and entertainment.